All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Mike Banks Jr. moves on. And our next round here, two more players that want to move on. We have Sam Henderson and a player that I'm not 100% familiar with. This is Amy Beecham. She is a part of Team England over for the uh, the women uh, the England women's team. Is that correct, Cleve? Yeah, that's correct. Um, she is a multiple um, event winner on the ladies category. Um, this is the first year that they've introduced the um, back in the UK the women's pro series. Um, so. Um, yeah, she she's uh, ranked number one at the moment um, on the rankings and the pro in the women's pro series. Um, she, I believe she's won four world championships now um, back in England. So she's um, a very accomplished player uh, yeah, back home. Yeah, I, I spoke to her a little bit yesterday, mm -hmm. or maybe the day before, and just asked her how she was getting along on the tables and. She seemed pretty, uh, pretty happy with the way the tables played. The differences didn't seem to really hurt her that much when she was practicing. She's a, she's a, she's a pretty storied player. She's seasoned, yeah. right? Experienced. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, she she plays amongst um, you know um, men's teams as well back in the UK. Like you know, sort of like a local. Um, uh, club team, you're going to call it. Yeah. Um, and, you know, she's played amongst, like, very high-quality players as well. So she, she's, um, she sees the shot. Um, you know, she she's, I wouldn't want to draw her in a game. Yeah. You know, so um, this this is going to be um, a good match-up. You know, the, the, the thing with um, Amy on this one, obviously, as you can see, she's got a, um, a snooker cue. Yeah. Um, uh, well, a Chinese eight ball cue. Um, so um, obviously, she wants to be familiar with the, sh the, the stroke that she's used to. Um, and I gave her to some some advice. Really, you know, she asked me earlier on, like, how's the table? Like, I just treat it like the UK table, the arena tables that we play back in the UK, because the arena table in the UK compared to the outside tables is different anyway. Yeah. But it, it plays kind of similar to the to the UK tables, just a slightly bigger pockets, and you got, you got to just work with the the ball size. But apart from that, in terms of the speed of the table, she should be fine. Yeah. Well, and and she took a tough miss on the 15 ball. I, I think I think one thing that she'll need to adjust uh, here in the next, hopefully, the couple shots, is uh, simply she she. She looks like she wants to kind of tap everything in, and that's the I think that's the biggest difference between the UK and the US is uh, there it's because the cue ball is uh, quite a bit smaller than the object balls. Yeah. It's more of a tap, tap, tap. Correct, yeah. We, and here, it's just not like that. Yeah, so what I've, you know, with American style pool, um, the dynamics of it all is that most of the shots that um, in American pool is. Uh, like a forward motion shot. Yeah. Okay, so it's either a stun or, uh, you know, you, you, you spin it off a couple of rails, etc., etc. et cetera. Um, Because the cue ball's smaller than the object ball, we play a lot of stuns and draws. Yeah. Um, or, you know, in the UK we call it a screw back shot. Um, and and, and, and the reason, one of the reasons why is, is because... Um, wow. The, uh, that's a great shot there. Look at that yeah. shot there. And it's actually got shape to actually go into the nine ball here. Um, and, Fearless. Yeah, and he wants to go, I think he wants to go directly into it rather than go into the rail and go into it. Um, because he, he coming from that angle will be uh, a better, yeah, yeah, see, and that's the problem. That's the problem right there. He should have gone straight into it rather than use the rail. <laughs> yeah, and, and Amy, while she might not be as used to the tables, she is going to be able to see the pattern here, and yeah. I think she's going to get out. Yeah. I really do. You know, um, and I think the right shot to play is, uh, naturally, you want to believe the nine ball last, but I think um, she's going to play the uh, the 15 last. Um, yeah, so take this ball now, or you, you, either, either. I think you should have taken this now, in, in my opinion. With the way the 12's sitting, yeah. I actually like taking the nine. 
yeah, taking the nine ball now first. But because, because j- just right because there, she didn't really do herself any favors. favors exactly that. So she just took the nine first, and then. But I mean, this is yeah. a pretty straightforward shot. Yeah. Um, I don't know how she's going to shoot it, just because I'm not sure what she's comfortable with. And 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 I think she's hit that bit firm because she wasn't comfortable with just sort of doing a, a yeah, the tap a, the tap shot. You know? And that's okay. That's okay yeah. for now. Yeah. Um, she's still getting used to the table. Yeah. This is the first rack, but I definitely think uh, you're, she's not going to want yeah. to tap tap tap. Putting a little bit more pace on it is not a bad thing. And so that's a good that shot nice. there. Yep. And Amy here, really starting off well against Sam. Yeah, so she steals that one. And that's from, you know, I'll say just a, a lack of, in my opinion on that, I'll say lack, um, just the wrong way that Sam went into that um, that break, the breakout shot. Yeah. Um, wow. I tell you what, Amy had a great break there. Yeah, yeah. Um, if that five goes past the, um, the well, actually, no. It's I like the stripes. stripes. anyway, yeah. Can but she, but she, she doesn't have a great, great opening shot. No. So this is the, I think even when she doesn't have a great opening shot, so the only one that looks re- readily available is the four ball. I think she sees the 15. She I think she can see the edge of it. So she can make the 15. Yeah. yeah that's good. And now the 14 is there. Yeah, that's good. And then she's got a couple side pocket shots. So she really has a chance to yeah, clean up right here. Yeah, yeah. You know, just make, mind your work. Make sure you don't kiss into the five ball when, when going up the table. Yeah. Um, she's going to take her time here. And I really like that mm-hmm. for somebody who's not used to the balls, the mm-hmm. tables, the equipment. And then on top of that, the arena, the lights, all that. She may be more used to yeah. that, mm-hmm. but maybe not in this setting. Right, exactly. I like her taking her time and mm-hmm. really just, uh, you know, assessing the table yeah. each time. It's a very smart move. It's a very so seasoned move. Amy should see, I would have taken the, the 13 here, play a soft, just a soft. Uh, draw or stun, then taking the ten ball and kissing to the one, um, the one ball for the nine ball last, and, and but you know she's got to make sure. See now this gets a bit fringy. I don't. She has to play. A, uh, she's gonna have to play a shot here, and that's why you know it, it, it's a, it's a different stroke. If she would have taken that thirteen ball into the top right, yeah, um, then it would have been dot to dot. The good news is here, mm-hmm. if she just shoots the nine to the side and she stuns up table, and the, the important part is going between the, the seven the, and one. Yeah, the seven, well, the seven and two is the important part, but not yet. Yeah, yeah the, the stun up between yeah, the yeah, seven and two, yeah. and then making sure she's on the far That's side of the one ball. She doesn't want to be. She's okay. She'll take oh. that. She'll take that. And that, that's, that was the big part. She didn't yeah. want to be under the one. And that's a shot that maybe she's not used to. Yeah. I, I, think, I think what it is with, um, with um, uh, our ball different size is that naturally um, she wants to aim to the extreme um, side of, you know, of English. Yeah. Because that's what we do in England. When you, when you go and watch those tables, guys, if you watch Ultimate Pool over in the UK, the first thing you're going to notice is the, the rounded pockets, but something that you may not notice is the rail dimensions are different mm-hmm. as far as how they come up off the table, which create a different effect. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, exactly that. I'm, I'm hoping I get to come over there yeah, uh, you, you'll, have soon. Ball, you'll have a ball. You'll, you'll, you'll have a ball. There's so many players, you know, at the same standard of, of Chris and, and uh, Jordan. You know, you've got um, um, Tom Cousins, Stevie Dempsey. Um, Phil Harrison, there's, there's a multitude of players who, who are just natural curious. It's just all about learning the dimension of this. But she did start off well there um, in this rack. Uh, another dry break from Sam. Um, so, you know, this is kind of an important frame, an important rack right now. Um, you know, she if, if Amy can get the 3-0 lead somehow... That's a great knock. Uh, that's now a great, look right that's there. That's a great combo. For somebody who's not used to the, play, the, mm-hmm. the table conditions, that shot was incredible. Yeah. That's a very tough combo to play. It's not one that many people are going to take on. And I don't think she can, uh, well, 
Is she looking at going second side rail and putting the uh, 13? I mean, this will be some shot here. Nailed. And she's still not in position. I think she may... Oh... The camera angle's deceiving, so she may be onto the 12 ball into the side pocket. And looking at the body language, yep, she is. But what's the cue ball going to be doing? Well, and okay. if, if she oh, that's a brilliant touch. And to be fair, that's nicely rewarded because she's done some good shots. And yes, she needed a bit of luck. She did get a, she did get the luck the first time round, and she needed to do another good shot. And and now she's in position to uh, run these out. So she's she's making a stamp on the mark here. Well, let me tell you, if she gets out here, mm -hmm. this will be the out of the day. That's that's a great shot. That's lovely. She just wants to play this with a lot of uh, uh, run inside. We call it so um, run in English or. You know, inside English, as you guys call it. We yeah. call it run inside. So just a trace of it. She needs to really... Nah, she, she's... Yeah, she... And that's... That, it's a tough shot when you're playing it soft. Um, because the, the ball will square up when you're playing inside English. And she's she's feeling it there. She, she knows that's one that could get away because um, she's had a chance to get a 3-0 lead. And she's just... She's biting her teeth there a little bit. Hopefully she can get that out of her head. And I think that that right there, that shot, mm -hmm. that's that was probably one that what we call is not giving it the respect it needs, or yeah. not not giving it the due diligence that it deserves. Yeah, I think I think she did because it's she's it's it's just one of those ones again playing inside English, it straightens up the ball a lot. So you got to kind of like overcut it if anything so what we refer to that is as throw right okay left yeah. english will right. throw the ball right right, mm -hmm. right english will throw the exactly. ball left exactly so you have to actually miss the ball in yeah. terms of aiming and mm -hmm. let the throw carry it into the pocket that was a good shot by sam using all of the pocket it didn't do him any favors with where he kicked the 15. no well, i mean well he's 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 actually put amy in a spot here because um Amy had that 15 available, um, and now he's just knocked it into a safe position. So he actually can probably pass the turnover, which he has done. As he left sight, no, nope, see, he's got a double kiss, and he's he's kind of flew to snooker, really. Now let me ask you this, mm -hmm. just because I'm looking at the score, mm -hmm. and I'm looking at the time, and I know about how long Amy's going to take to shoot shots. Same with Sam. Mm -hmm. If this goes to a six ball shootout, do you think Amy's comfortable oh, with wow. it? Oh, wow. Look at the fluke. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. To be fair, it's like fluke, fluke, ain't it? You know, it's return of fluke. And Amy takes a 3 0 lead. But uh, uh, it's, a, it's a big game there. That's a big swing, 3 0 from 2 1. Do you know what? That was a well controlled break. They kind of split it, but nothing down. So back to my uh, back to my original question. Mm -hmm. If this were to go to a six ball shootout, how comfortable do you think Amy would be on these tables? She's done the six balls before. She has done it. I know she's not one of the quickest in the UK. She's not the slowest in the UK um, in in the women's section. And, and, and it's funny because like you know, there, there's unless you're an established player in the women's section, um, the time difference are very you know wide. Wide. Yeah. yeah. Um, but, um, and obviously Sam's probably not done one unless he's done one in practice I don't know nothing about um, I, I would hinge my bets only because I know Amy can actually just take the, the one quick uh, practice stroke yeah um, from what I've seen of Sam he's quite he reminds me of Tyler Steyer, Steyer in a way yeah but quite methodical yeah um, in his pre-shot ru um, routine is. He is very um, methodical. You know, gets into the stance before, and, you know, chases angle, gets into the stance, um, you know, walks into it, etc. So, where Amy is, she can kind of, like, poke the ball. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll tell you, we're, we're three racks in, 
if if Sam were to win the next three in the same amount of time, we'd be sitting around the 20 minute mark with a race to four, which is very very possible mm-hmm. in that situation where a six ball shootout is it's relevant. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and when's the it's a 50 minute match? So the, when's the timer go? Ten over? minutes. Ten minutes. Yeah, ten minutes. The timer will oh, drop so it's to 15 seconds. So it's the seconds. same as the, the 30 minute match clock. Yep. Oh, he's missed that bank. Yeah, he, he caught that one kind of head on, yeah. almost a double kiss. Yeah, I think he I think he quitted on the pace of it. Yeah. You know, kind of like, don't want to hit it too hard, but don't want to hit it too soft and got somewhere caught in the middle. And and Sam, who, while he didn't make it into the finals, um, he was definitely one of the, the big stories of the shootout yesterday. He really played phenomenal and took down some big names and... Uh, you know, really, really carved out his own story. Yes, definitely. In the shootout, he's definitely a, a kid to watch, and I, I hope he. Um, you know what I find in in you know my experience of Paul, there's many great junior players, and they you know they've won titles as a junior, etc. And for whatever reason, they don't make the transition into men's level. You know, prog- progressively, that's a good shot. Yeah, that's a very good shot. I tell you, Amy's she's she's finding her stroke there, and you know she she must be feeling confident, like being three new up, and you know she's she's accustomed to this environment. Yeah, yeah. She's, she's not a, she's not afraid of the arena. No. She's not afraid of the lights. No, she's she's accustomed to this environment. So um, make no mistake about it. it the only the, the only thing what will just be Amy's. Uh, downfall if there was going to be one it's just the experience of the table and and the and the balls the dynamics basically well let's talk about this a little bit too i i spoke to her um she actually she so we exchanged socials Mm -hmm. and i saw one of her reels that she posted and she had taken just kind of a wide shot of the room here Mm -hmm. at side pocket blue springs Mm -hmm. and uh she said i could stay here forever yeah so she's really loving the uh just the the journey yeah um, and she's she's having fun with it. She's mm-hmm. having a good time. She likes being here, so that can play into that comfortability. You know, right. when you're experiencing something new. Yes. But at the same time, it's it's familiar. Sure. Sometimes that gives you a burst of energy. You know, and so she is making some pretty pretty nice shots here. Yeah, she overstroked that one down the rail. Uh, I think it was the 14 ball down the ra- down the rail. Um, she's overstroked it and she's left herself high. She's trying to block the path of the eight ball. She's done enough to block it. Um, still probably comes off the um, the the, four, the 12 ball maybe. But I actually don't like shooting the five here. I like using the five to get to the eight ball. Well, I think he's going to. It would have surprised me if. Uh, well, actually, that's the right shot. Actually, I think he is going to probably try and kick the eight ball out. Guaranteed to be on the four ball. Or maybe the three ball. Yes, yeah, I, I like the four and just dragging out for the three. Yeah. I think leaving the, the five for the eight promotes for the eight ball, but he's just going to bump, bump the 12. Yeah, yeah. That's a clever shot. That's a, that's actually a clever shot. Yeah. Um, you know, because actually, even if he messes up on the shape at the top end of the, um, the table, the, the eight is wide open now. Yeah. Where he had to probably transition to the five to get onto the eight. Oh, was he done here? Was he done here? Don't do it, Tim. Was he? Oh. oh. He couldn't get much closer no, than that. No, no. Oh, wow. No. Oh, so just a sign of, uh, you know, maybe a lack of concentration there. Um, that's that's something that, uh, you know, he just kind of overcooked it mm-hmm. a little bit. Yeah. And it, ha- and it happens, you know. We've all, we all been there where we've played a shot and we uh, actually we just probably overtimed the shot, you know. Um, and you know instantly, you know, you're like, oh, I've hit that well. So just a simple, what is to be, uh, you might just draw it or just stun it dead and, yeah, yeah he's fine there. So he gets his first rack on the board. Yep. That's a nice little uh, yep. accomplishment to throw on your on your uh, on your reel there. Oh no! 
Okay. He came out okay. Yeah, it's a cut break. And he, he's put in a few balls, but he nearly scratched, but he's got kind of nothing. Three balls? Four balls on the break. Wow. Yeah. I mean, the clutch ball here now is the four ball into the top left corner. If he makes that ball, then this should be an out. But yeah, so so Amy, you know, playing a little bit of the of the the bad guy here. Um, how do you think that may affect her? Just because one, she's not from the USA, and two, the crowd is is clearly on the side of her opponent. How do you think that might affect her? Is that something that she would? worry about or is she just going to play through it? She'll play through it. Yeah. Um, she, as I said, she's been in this situation many times. I mean, I'm, I mean, the team events um, in, in like the World Championships, most of the time throughout the history of the years, they've always been held in England. Um, a couple of times, you know, um, you know, France and Ireland, um, etc. So it's always a big team dynamic. Yeah, the, yeah. The, 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 the verbals are always out. Um, it's part of the kind of culture, etc. You know, the cheering on, and um, she, she'll be she'll be fine to that. You know, because we're always playing different nations. You know, her being an international um, player, so yeah, she, it's it's a uh, she'll be fine out, out there. Yeah. So uh, what time is it? It's it's around three o'clock or so. Yeah, maybe later. Um, uh, time is three thirty. So, yeah, three thirty. Yeah. Um, so it's about about what is that nine nine thirty? Yeah, nine thirty. So if you're hours. watching in the UK, because I know we have some people sweating it from the UK, um, so it's it's right close to getting that time. Mm -hmm. um, wonder how many of those guys are going to stay up to continue watching. Yeah, I mean, you know, uh, I think the close of play tonight is what ten o'clock. Yeah, yeah I think roughly. We're, we're usually out of here around uh, yeah. 11 o'clock, depending he done on how here? late it goes. He's, oh, no. He's got fortunate. He's got fortunate. He has got fortunate. And he can just see through there. Yeah. He's had two lucky... Um, Well, he's got a bit of a blind cut, and he's kind of hampered. He's half hampered over the ten ball. He still should be okay. Um, he is right-handed, so yeah, he's going to be hampered over it a little bit. Great yep. shot he's there. Nailed it. You know, something about Sam. Um, just, just his demeanor and the way he plays, his ability level at 17 years old. Um, I, I, he reminds me a little bit of the path of Skylar Woodward because he, he's so young and he's learning so fast. It's only a matter of time before he catches that next level. Well, just there, Amy has sledgehammered that break. And I believe the uh, seven ball goes just past the the uh, the tw uh, ten ball, so it's all about whether she fancies that combination, um, that eleven, sorry, the thirteen to fourteen combination, and not losing the thirteen ball. So it's just preference here. Um, but that being said, she hasn't really got a strike to look at to aim at, so it has to be um, solid here. Yeah. I, I the stripes are where you want to go, but the solids are where you have to go. That's a good. That's, yeah, that's a good. That's a good cannon as well. That's really gonna yeah. open them up. So I said cannon. You guys say yeah. <laughs> Carom, Carom. Or kiss. Kiss. Yeah. Well, kiss off the ball. Yeah, that seven definitely goes. Looking at the camera angle, so. Um, yeah, you know, she's this in good is shape. A, this is close to what I, I kind of predicted earlier. We're. we're Slowly moving towards the 20 minute mark. And, uh, you know, this, this again, it's not out of the realm of possibility that we could dip into that final 10 minutes where that shot clock drops down. Sam dealt with it pretty well last mm -hmm. night. Mm -hmm. um, I, I don't have an insight as to how Amy is going to deal with it, but I feel like she's probably got to be comfortable with it, yeah? She's comfortable with it, yeah. Yeah, yeah she's comfortable with it. You know, she's and she looks relaxed out there right now. So, you know, she's taking her time. She's she's doing her pace. You know, her normal sort of uh, 
you know, she ain't changed her, she ain't changed her, um, her, uh, her, her time around the table. You know what I mean? So, so um, I think here it's just don't be cute. Just leave yourself a pot and trust your cue in. It's such an interesting dynamic when we talk about a player from the UK uh, playing a player from the US because mm -hmm. the US players know the tables, mm -hmm. the UK players know the rules mm -hmm. and have they know the format, format. and they're used to it. Mm -hmm. um, so it, it's really kind of... That's a great pot there. She's done that absolutely on the, on the button. It's really kind of a who can figure out the other part quicker situation mm -hmm. when it comes to that kind of stuff. Amy really on a roll here, and Sam's going to break here. Sam with a break here and able to make a ball. Everything's kind of, it, it's not, there's nothing really tied up, but it's not the prettiest uh, layout. The, the, the 14 ball is going to be tough. The one and the two, if he's not going to take the solids. He's got to take the stripes here, but the 14 well, ball he, may. I'm surprised he's not drawing this back to get onto the 14, because if you, take, if you, drew, if you drew, play the draw shot there and come back uh, a foot, you had the 14 in the top right, and that but was the problem solved. Actually, looking at it right now, it, the, the camera may be a little deceiving. I think that the 14 will slide right in between the 311 and past the 10. Okay, okay. But we'll know for sure mm, right yeah, here. Yeah. Uh, maybe not. No. Uh, was, is he, did he try to? So if he's, I think that, he, I think he overcooked it to shoot yeah. the fourteen well, in the corner. If, if that fourteen don't go into these corners, then he's missed a trick on that first ball he's taken. Yeah, and uh, Sam here down four to two, and he has a chance here to make it four three. Now, I'll be looking to play the, the 15 ball first into the bottom right and just sort of screw in between the gap between the three and the rail. Come on that side and then you've got the, the 14 into the top right and yeah. then and go from there again. Well, again, the, the more we talk and the more these games go by, the more we're going to discuss the possibility uh, of what uh, could be inevitable come the time that this six ball shootout. We've seen three in Ultimate Pool USA history. Uh, one involving yourself and mm -hmm. Tyler Steyer. That's probably at this point the most uh, famous one mm -hmm. uh, because Tyler uh, put up a great time and you came in and just didn't get the break you wanted. Yeah, I should have been though. <laughs> I should have been. I should have been. I should have been. I should have really gone to a six ball shootout. But that's another story. That's but another story. Tyler, Tyler, <laughs> Tyler played it well. Yeah, yeah. And he, he, he got you that time. Yeah. Um, and the other one we've seen is Shane Thompson and Corey Duell, which mm -hmm. again, Corey put up a great time mm -hmm. and Shane came in behind him and, and slashed it out. We've also seen. Uh, in the, in the women's event, we had two ladies go at it. Brittany Williams yes, yeah. ended up taking down a six-ball shootout yeah. in Louisiana, but that's the only three we've ever seen. Right. And, and I'm expecting at least one this weekend. In a situation like we saw last night with the shootout, the, the six-ball shootout in the shootout format mm -hmm. is very, very possible. Yeah. Um, and we didn't see a single one no, last night. No, no. So, with the time running down the way it is, you know, there is a possibility that we get there on this match. Especially if Sam continues to run out. And I'm going to be hypercritical on this one. This is all down to that first shot. And he actually had, a, he actually had another shot and he still did see it. Um, and he'll probably, if he ever goes back and watches that, this rack, it, we all do it. Why did I take this ball? Yeah. You know? Um, or I, I could have taken this differently and yeah. made it a little bit easier yeah, had yeah. I done it this way. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's definitely something we do. Now, however, he's very aware of the rules, and he's definitely going to send the eight ball for a ride, which he did. It didn't work out to his favor. And uh, here we go. Amy Beecham has a chance to go up 5-2 on Sam. Yeah. 
the balls are all sitting pretty well. Yep. She good. just needs to stay in line. And that's that right there, that little bump on the one ball. Yeah, see, I mean. That's, it, not, that's not what she wanted. And that was the English instinct. Yeah. Um, which it took me a little while to, you know, we, we would have played that shot to move the ball into play. Whereas, you know, Great you, shot. Don't, you don't need to move it, it goes down the rail. So it's just little things like that, just trying to transition our mindset, yeah. you know, if you don't play American style pool because of the equipment, etc., on a regular basis. Well, she she played a great shot mm -hmm. there mm -hmm. to get back into line. Yeah. And that's what we see a lot with players is when they get out of line, they tend to try to overcompensate mm -hmm. to get back into line, which it's a ripple effect. You, right. you get more out of line and more exactly. out of line you, to, you, the point, chasing. to the point where maybe you make your last ball and the eight ball is just in a ridiculous spot uh -huh. and you miss the one that counts. Mm -hmm. Amy did a great job of getting back into line immediately when she had a, a little bit of a, a bad bump. Yeah. So. so it's very important that she gets over to the left-hand side of the table. Nothing for sure, everything for... You know, yeah, she's think, okay. She's okay. She can just something that you guys talk. don't do a whole lot on this shot right here. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna put a ton of inside on the ball. Uh, I, could, I play it, but I, I actually prefer in this shot here. If, you're, if you've got a bit of nervous energy, just send it off two rails and just take your medicine. Take your medicine. Yeah, yeah. on the eight. And I think that's what she's gonna do. Yeah. Exactly that. And worked out well for yeah, her. Just watch out for any scratches. You know. And we just dropped below the 19-minute mark. If Amy continues on this path, it might not even yep. get close to relevant. And As she, she takes the eight ball down, the score is now five to two. Guys, if you're a UK pool pro, make the jump. Jump over here. Come, <laughs> come play just one time. Um, I, I, I don't because want you will gain fans. Yeah, yeah. And I'm not gonna lie. Um, the, the people over here, they've been nothing but great and respectful and uh, they're very enthusiastic, uh, the enthusiasm, to, the, to the, the passion to the game. Yeah. You know, everybody will come and talk to you, um, you know, uh, uh, and interact and you, you know, they want their case signing, you know, their, their, their uh, playing ball sign, signing, shirts. You know, selfies, you know, this is something that I don't do, you know, yeah. I'm just a regular Joe in, 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 in the UK, you know, I'm not the, the same, you know, name like Chris Mellon or anything like that. So um, it was it was kind of like alien for me when it first happened in the Louisiana Open, but um, now I'm kind of like just accustomed to it. But yeah. I'm still shy with it, but like I, I know what's coming. Yeah, well, just like Sam Henderson, um, for anybody that didn't know Sam, uh, after last night's shootout, you now know who he is, and you probably have a lot of respect for his game. Mm -hmm. Amy Beecham really having a good showing here. She's not out of the woods yet because Sam Henderson has the ability to, to win this match, no doubt about it. Mm -hmm. However, the, the performance she's put on so far in this match has been nothing short of stellar. No, exactly. So I think we've got probably maybe two more rats. Sorry. This rack and maybe another rack um, before it goes into oh well before it goes into a, a, a 15 second shot clock. But a surprising miss there, and maybe Sam's just feeling the heat out there. Maybe maybe this is the first time. I think. Well, uh, respectfully, I think, you know, he's always won his matches when he's in front. Yeah. And when obviously when he was uh, with Chris, Chris was well ahead. Yeah. And, and it looks the pressure like kind of got to him. Could, yeah, and, and it could be like the same story here. So does he handle the pressure being behind and being able to grind your way back into the game, you know, take one frame at a time or what, run back, one back at a time? So I, Some players don't have that. They're great front runners, yeah. but they're, they're not good at... I wish I could back. answer that question. I don't have enough experience mm -hmm. with Sam. I can tell you, not watching the match, but... Uh, I can tell you there's been plenty of times where I've pulled up a bracket where I've seen Sam Henderson's name and I've seen him uh, win some some tough matches. Mm -hmm. um, 
that were nail biters. Yeah. And and that's the same type of pressure he's under right now. Yeah. So a, a hill hill situation mm-hmm. is very similar to a, the situation he's in now. Yeah. He's he's down big and he knows how important it is. Mm-hmm. So I have seen him in high pressure situations come out as the winner. Um, as far as you know, being down and making a comeback, if you will, I can't speak on that. Sure. But uh, something that me and Steven talked about last night is in America, I like to play the one-word game. You pick one word to describe a player. So for Amy, uh, my one word would be comfortable because she really does look comfortable out there in, a, in an environment that she's not used to. She looks comfortable. But my one word for Sam Henderson last night was composure. Yeah. yeah. And, and I truly believe that Sam showed more composure all the way through the shootout than any other player that played last night. I mean, he really controlled every. It's, it's, he it's controlled the, the arena. Yeah, really. Yeah, I'll, go, I'll, go, I'll go with so. I think, um, I think. I think. Yeah. Sam. Uh, actually, two players probably would have been Sam and Ricky. Ricky Evans. Yeah. 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 Um, and uh, both who went out mm-hmm. uh, in, in those semifinals matches. Yeah. So. Yeah. I mean. Um, it's it's an interesting dynamic seeing Sam miss that ball and and that's if Amy were to win this rack and then uh, eventually win the match, Sam's gonna look back on that on that ball that he missed in this rack yeah. and and say, oh, all I had to do was make that ball. And I think she has the angle just to stun over and take the eight ball into the bottom right. So I think she's got the right angle. Yep, she's looking at because the eight ball doesn't pass into the bottom left. So she takes this 13. So there's a cut shot coming now. And she's nailed that. She's hit that absolutely plum. Uh, Amy Beecham really showing a comfortability on this table. Mm-hmm. Oh, she's going to make a name for herself now. Yeah, if, if, you, if you didn't know who Amy Beecham was, Again, that that's what this weekend's been all about. Yeah. Finding new players, uh, seeing new talent that maybe you haven't seen before. Yeah, exactly. You know, and, and Amy and and, um, and and Ashley coming over from from the women's sector. You know, it might be. And listen, we all got to talk about like you know flights and accommodation, yeah. you know, cost effective, etc. Obviously, that's going to play a part. Um, but the desire to think, oh, you know what, I want to spin in that. You know, yeah. it looks fun out there. So um, hopefully this is it's gonna give that international flavour of of um, overseas players for you guys because we have a, we have a few overseas players back home in England. Yeah. You know, we've got people from Morocco come over, um, France. Um, I want to say uh, we've got Jake McCarthy who comes from over from yeah. Australia. Um, so yeah, it's well, let's let's talk about this a little bit. And mm-hmm. sorry, guys, I'm gonna name some names that maybe you guys don't know, but. In the first event, we saw Christoph Lambert. Yeah, but, mm-hmm. um, we saw you, mm-hmm. Shane Thompson. So that's three. Da- Darren Appleton. Uh, Darren's a pretty well-known well, name yeah, in, that's true, in yeah. the and U.S. So, I'm so not going to use him yeah, or Chris. Chris. Mm-hmm. Um, that's pretty much it, yeah, right? Yeah. So, but now we fast forward to this event, and we have Amy Beecham. We have Jordan Shepard. We have... Uh, Scott Rudder, who's uh, just a local guy to your pool hall. Mm -hmm. Um, We have Mark McGulley. We have uh, Joe Prince. We have uh, Ricky Ricky uh, Ricky Ricky, Jones. Ricky Jones. Jones. So lots of UK players making the trip over here. So we went from, we'll call it three, to about ten. Right, exactly. And and, uh, this is only event two. So, um, you know, I, I... I expect when we announce our next event, I'm not sure where it's going to be at, but I expect that uh, we may have even more players from worldwide come over. I I totally uh, agree with that um, statement. Um, So Amy just missed a 10 ball um, down the rail. Um, She missed it by quite a bit of a way, so maybe just a bit of twitch here and there, but... You know, Sam's on the chase now, and this is where you know we're getting close to the the 10-minute marker. So he's trying to probably think, you know, what I want to get, as, I want to speed up my game now because I'm 6-2 down to have even a chance in those 10 minutes remaining, um, where it's going to be a 15 seconds per shot. Oh, what a shot that was! Oh, that's a great shot, and Amy's well. tapped her t- tapped her knee uh, as a sign of acknowledgement. 
So um, we still got to deal with that eight ball, which is completely tied. Well, here, here's what I like for the eight ball, and it, it, it's a little out there, but I believe that you can kind of push the eight ball in between those two balls okay. what towards want? the side pocket. But well, he, he just bumped he just it. He didn't yeah, need to. Yeah, he didn't need to. As he got shape on the seven, and he puts his hands on his head, and that tells me that he's not on the seven ball. I think he's... Uh, I think he doesn't have the angle, and I think he's going to have to go rail first or kick at it. He almost made a kick like this last <laughs> night. Okay. On the eight ball. Mm -hmm. He's... He's there. Get it in there. He's there. Wow, He's there. what He's a there. shot. And Amy's tucked in the again, so Sam's uh, ramping up the gears here. So again, another key shot. It's got a cue this well. And uh, we've got just a little uh, above 10 and a half minutes. He's called his extension. Yeah. Wow, yeah. What, what an out yeah. That's by nice. Sam Henderson. Yeah. You can't stress enough how great of an out that was. She's going to be thinking, make a ball off the break, because she can control the time. Oh, oh she no. scratched. Yeah, she didn't want that. Oh, so, <laughs> so she didn't want that at all. It's like, make a ball of the break or not scratch. That's two scratches in a row, I think, from Amy. And um, she had a little laugh about it. She got two really bad kicks there. The 13, and, oh, mm -hmm. well, only one kick. But the cue ball was headed towards the side mm -hmm. and uh, kind of really didn't help her. And I think now Sam knows where the time is. I yeah. think he's looked at the time and he says, you know what? He's I go. have to get out. So it looks like he's going to probably play the f four ball off the six ball. No, I actually, and I like him. I like him to play the one off the six here, super does, thin. Does that go? Okay. Yeah, it goes. Okay. It, it's a very thin, mm. but it, it promotes the six ball moving a little bit more. Right. Okay. He may not though. Now, we are down to 15 seconds mm -hmm. on the shot clock, guys. Strap your seat belts on. We're going for a ride in this match. This has been one of the best matches of the tournament so far. That's a good shot. And here, the four ball into the side pocket doesn't help his his path. So he might play this with a ton of left hand side. Oh, don't let the time get you, Sam. Oh, he just goes to the corner. corner what a shot. Yeah. yeah, that's a good shot. This Very is getting shot. intense, yeah. Cleve. Yeah, he's he's ramping up the gears. He's and and he knows he's got the next break and you know, Amy's gonna now be She's not going to be comfortable in this position at the moment because yeah. she's watching Sam pump up the gears, his pace around the table, and there's still mm -hmm. adequate time left to... She's probably thinking, okay, she needs to win, or let's give her a six-ball shootout. And she taps the knee again. Um, what happens if they don't get the three point? So the, um, the person who did not break has, has a choice the option, right? Yeah, off to um, break, um, breaking themselves or, or or making the person break again. Um, and, the only re and another reason why I think Amy should do a, um, a soft break is because she's scratched twice in a row. So she's going to be... She, she's it's going to be in the back, back of her head. head. Yeah, so just play it safe and, and control the time. Now, the table's a bit messy. It's okay. It's a little bit messy, but not super messy. Well, I think, I think Sam's about to blast this open right here. I really do. Oh, he played it a little bit more conservative. Yeah, well, he's holding the breakout for a better shot. shot. Yeah, I mean the 14 already goes anyway, so it's only the 15 ball he's got to break out. Well, and so he, right here, if I'm Sam, obviously the 15 second timer is still running, but if I'm oh, Sam here, oh, has he pointed himself? Is he on the point? No, I don't think so. No, okay. If I'm Sam here, I, I calm it down a little bit. Obviously, the 15 seconds is still in play. Yeah. But the way he ran that last rack out, he could have given himself an extra 30 seconds along the way. Yeah. Now that the score is 6-4, I think it's important for Sam to not super rush his shots that might encourage making a mistake. Like, yeah. And the thing about it, to play, I, I agree with you, because you might get one rack where you're rushing the shots and you, and you make the out. But to do that over three racks in consecutive order, 
um, it's, it's actually harder to do, you know, to play super fast with three rats in a row. So at some point, the chances are if you are shooting fast in three consecutive racks, you're going to make that mistake. So like you said, slow it down a little bit. But at the same time, oh, and he needed a bit of luck there and he's not got it. So Amy's going to be, unless Sam makes this ball, I'm going to expect an Amy cow clearance for the game. So he's gonna come off the two ball. And oh he's no! Just missed his luck there. And is he gonna get a little fortune in here no, now? No, I mean this looks. Barring a, 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 a miscalculation somewhere along the line, just gotta be careful of that. Okay, so be looking to take the six ball last. Um, well, you know, just just float this in. You got this is about this is all about pace. And just call extension. This is all about pace. So float it in top rail with a bit of. She could probably play it just natural, to be fair. But this is all about the, the how thin she oh, hits yeah. it, and she's this got a, well. she's got a squeeze there. And, and so, Sam Henderson again. What an immaculate showing here. It looks as though Amy Beecham's going to take this rack. And I gotta say, for her, welcome to the United States. Definitely. This is a this is a welcoming party for Amy Beecham, and uh, she's just one two shots away from taking the win here against a mm -hmm. really immaculate Sam Henderson. Yeah. I can't stress enough how incredible this match has been to call. The eight ball is gonna go down, and Amy Beecham is gonna take the win. Stephen Wyatt, Cleve Thompson on commentary. We're going to get a word with Amy here in just a moment. We'll be back in just a minute. 